Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared two questions for you and the first question is give the IUPAC name for this oligopeptide. So we see here one, two, three amino acids and we call such polypeptide chain which consists of less than 10 amino acids oligopeptide. We also can give a number of the amino acids for, for example one to three amino acids would make tripeptide. According to IUPAC, we also can give this molecule a name which would also include names of individual amino acids. But according to this rule, we have to change a suffix. So instead of alanine, alanil. So we are going to change these three letters to this new suffix and serenine we are going to change also to zerenil and the last amino acid in this tripeptide in this chain we are not going to change so it's going to be the same so the name would be alanil zerenil lysine and we are not using spaces between these three uh, names of amino acids. So this is going to be one word. And because I don't want to make this video too short, let me also give you three letter and one letter abbreviations of these three amino acids. So alanine would have three letter abbreviation, which is going to be first three letters. So ALA, zeranine also would have first three letters as abbreviation of this amino acid and lysine also three letter abbreviation would be LYS and one letter abbreviation would be a little bit more complicated. For alanine we have a number of amino acids that start with A. So not all of them of course would have one letter abbreviation as A but alanine this is mnemonic technique because has two uh, A's in the three letter abbreviation would be one letter abbreviation would be A. And as for the zeranine, one letter abbreviation would be T. But for lysine, we have two amino acids which start with L, it's going to be K. So one of the amino acids that start with L, of course, would have uh, one letter abbreviation L, but lysine would have one letter abbreviation is K. And second question, draw the species formed by lysine at low pH. At low pH, we have a lot of free hydrogens, hydrogen ions or protons. So everything that can be protonized in lysine would be protonized. So let us draw this structure, uh, this molecule at low pH. So we start with central carbon, which is here. And here we have carboxylic carbon, which as you see, would be protonized. Here this alcohol group would have hydrogen because in the surrounding space, there are going to be a lot of hydrogens. And we also would have hydrogen group here and nitrogen group here and instead of two hydrogens here we are going to have three hydrogens so one two three hydrogen hydrogen and hydrogen and of course we are going to have here positive charge as for the R group which is here there are going to be also slight changes Take a look. In our group, we are going to have four carbons. So carbon number one, two, three, and four. And hydrogens on each side. So hydrogen here, hydrogen here, hydrogen here and here, and hydrogen here and here. And here, instead of NH2, we are going to have NH3. So 
one extra hydrogen would be attached to this amino group. So we are going to have another positive charge here. So first positive charge and second positive charge. So as you see, if our solution is going to be strong acid, the charge is going to be plus two. If weak acid, then we are going to lose one hydrogen and the overall charge is going to be plus one. If our solution is going to be close to neutral, then we will have positive charge here, negative charge here. So our molecule would be in the bitter ion form and one positive charge, one negative charge. So this hydrogen would be lost, would give us neutral charge. So would be zero and in strong base solution, the charge of this molecule would be minus one. In the strong base, we're going to have here NH2, so no positive charge here, NH2 here, no positive charge here, and we're going to lose this hydrogen here and would have negative charge here. So answering our question, draw the species form by lysine at low pH, we can say that this species can belong to this two variants. They would have in a strong acid plus two charge, in the weak acid plus one charge. And this is all for today. Thank you for attention and see you in the next video. Goodbye.